Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up Don's Pheasant Tail Nymph. Great little pattern, so make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use an H400BL size 12 jig hook, some 12 watt floral red thread to tie with, a 764 inch slotted brown bead for the bead, some natural pheasant tail for the tail, some natural pheasant tail for the body, some medium March brown wire for the rib, and some olive Arizona semi seal for the head. So to start the fly off, I've actually put my slotted bead onto the jig hook and you have to buy these special beads, the slotted beads, where, so you can actually get them onto the hook for one thing and get them up close to the eyelet, small and always small hole towards the front. When you put the slotted bead on, take your thread and just wrap in a small little bit to start. Then take about, only take about three strands of your pheasant tail. There's your pheasant tail. I've only taken three to four strands max. You don't want too much. And what I'm going to do is take my thread and just wrap it back to the rear of the hook. I'm going to measure up the tail and I want it fairly small, just the length of the body. Take it back and just lightly wrap it in there. Take your thread forward and leave all this material, extra material on there. We're going to wrap that in for the body after. So what we're going to do is take that extra pheasant tail now and just pull it back and wrap over it, going back towards the, the tail and the hook bend. Now we're going to take our medium March brown wire and brown works, black works, but I've really found this March brown wire works the best. Wrap it in and just keep it off the back that we'll rib in the body a little later. Now that we have the rib tied in, I'm going to take some of my halco pliers, hook it onto my pheasant tail, just spin it a couple of times. Just spin it and that just makes it a little tougher. And we're just going to wrap it forward to form the body and wrap it right up to the bead. Now that we have the body tied in, you'll notice if you only use a few strands of the pheasant tail, the body stays nice and thin. That's the way we want it. Now just take our, our wire off the back and wrap the opposite direction and form about you know, those three, probably about five to six wraps up and tie off behind the bead. Now that we have the rib all tied in, we're finished right behind the bead. Take a small amount of dubbing. Now, not a lot of dubbing, just a small pinch in between your fingers and just dub it onto your, dub it onto your thread. And just enough to take a couple of wraps. I'm gonna take my whip finisher and I like to whip finish just a nice little hot spot on the fly. So take about you know five or six good whip finishes, tie it off, and you form a nice little hot spot on the fly. So there it is, Dawn's Pheasant Tail Nymph Jig Style. And again, you could tie this on a normal hook. It works just as fine on a normal hook as it does on the jig. But make sure you have some in your box.